idioms that use food terms but aren't about food. 1. Butter someone up to be extra nice to someone and usually for selfish reasons. John wanted a promotion, so he decided to butter up his boss by praising her work and bringing her favorite coffee every morning. Samantha was trying to convince her parents to let her go on a trip with her friends, so she decided to butter them up by cleaning the house and offering to do extra chores for a week. In both examples, the phrase butter someone up is used to describe the act of trying to gain favor or influence someone by using flattery or doing something nice for them. Number two, cheesy, silly, over the top, not subtle. The movie we watched last night was so cheesy. It had predictable plot twists, over the top acting, and cheesy dialogue. At the party, they played cheesy love songs from the 80s, and everyone couldn't help but sing along and dance. In both examples, the word cheesy is used to describe something that is overly sentimental, corny, or lacking in sophistication. It refers to something that is considered tacky or inauthentic. Number three, cry over spilled milk. To get upset about something that has happened and cannot be changed. I made a small mistake on my presentation but there's no point in crying over spilled milk. I need to focus on finding a solution and moving forward. Sarah was upset because she missed the bus and was late for work. Her colleague told her not to cry over spilled milk and offered to help her catch up on the work she missed. In both examples, the idiom cry over spilled milk is used to convey the idea that it is unnecessary or unproductive to dwell on past mistakes or unfortunate events. It suggests that it's better to accept what has happened and focus on finding a solution or moving forward. Number four, use your noodle. Use your brain. I know the math problem seems challenging, but if you use your noodle and think it through step by step, I'm confident you'll find the solution. Before making a decision, it's important to use your noodle and consider all the possible consequences and alternatives. In both examples, the idiom, use your noodle, is used to encourage someone to think critically, use their intelligence, and engage in problem solving or decision making processes. It emphasizes the importance of using one's brain and intellect to overcome challenges or make informed choices. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and comment below.